Hi everyone, it's Eric from Flywheel Studio here, and I want to just answer a question from the Adalo Forum. I actively read this, so if you do leave questions here, there's a very decent chance I will see it and I'll try and answer it for you. This is asked by Patrick, and I'm making a video because I think it's the easiest way to explain it and it will probably help some people in the future. So Patrick has a question where he has a database and there's main categories, okay? So men, women's children, this is probably like a clothing on e-commerce store. There's subcategories, bags, shoes, and clothing, and then sub subcategories like the type of bag. If you went to like men's bags or women bags, you would see these, and then you would have a list of products. So the easiest way for me to do this um, and this is kind of like a part one to this, <clears throat> is f first, it's probably gonna be different when you do this because you need to think about how all of your relationships work and if it makes sense to do it one way or another because there's a lot of different ways to do this. And what I mean to say is men and women could both have backpacks. Does it make sense to have just a men's backpack category or should you have men's and then backpacks and then show these? And then do you really want the men's backpacks to be even related to the women's backpacks? It kind of depends on your store. And for the most part, I would say the answer is probably no, you're just getting, you're just making this too complex. But for the, what this example, I followed Patrick's line of thinking and question, okay? And the one thing that he, and I shared some other videos on how to do this for a restaurant app. The one thing he was thinking though is a product has one category, one subcategory, and can have multiple sub subcategories. Okay. Now I'm not exactly sure his use case here, um, but what I have done is I have my categories. Okay. And these are related to subcategories. So a category can have multiple subcategories. I have subcategories. And each subcategory only has one category. Okay. Now I did this, uh, or sorry, can have multiple categories. That way you can have bags and it can relate to men or women. Okay. So I tried to, to use it both ways. And then I have sub subcategories, okay? And that can have multiple subcategories, okay? So like a handbag or a backpack could relate to men or women, whatever. Okay, this is however you wanna make it. And then I have products, okay? And uh, subcategory, sub subcategories can have multiple products. Now, if we go to our products and look at this, basically what it means is that each product has one category, one subcategory, and can have multiple sub subcategories. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like in practice. And I put some product counts here, and these are just simple lists so that we can see how it works. So we have two products in men, we have no product in women's. Um, but if we go to men, we can see um, that there's no, oh, you know what I did? Let me change this back actually, because I did do something weird here. Um, the two products I added, I did add them to men's. So let's change that. Because I added them to men's and handbag and that is not in the men's group. So let's add that to women's and let's add this to women's. Okay. Okay, now women's has two products. So if we go into women's, we can see um, there's more categories than if we were in men's, right? So men's, there's only two categories. We have clothing and shoes. We do not have bags and it's not available for them. But if we go into women's, we have clothing, shoes, and bags. We can go to bags and we can see we have two types of bags, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you recall, 
originally it said that there were two products and there are actually only two. It's just that handbags, okay, backpack one and backpack two is available. So I made it possible for one product to have two sub subcategories. And if we go to just backpacks, backpack one is only related to backpacks. So it's a pretty specific use case, but you just have to think about how you want those relationships to work. And one of the reasons why I kind of read this out the way I did is I don't ever really look at, I would never look down the relationships. It's better to look up. So as I was reading this, I didn't really read out that it can have multiple subcategories as much as a category, a subcategory can belong to multiple categories or something like that. Now I'm going to pause this and then we're going to come back. I'm going to show you how you can add a product to one of these. And I'm going to show you um, probably the easiest way that I would do it. Okay.